Hey guys, Harmon here. We're gonna be playing some League of Legends with my main champ. These nuts! Ha! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Master Yi. Just because uh, I, I really do like this game. I'm, I'm getting better and better every single time I play. So I thought maybe it would be cool to just give you guys some Master Yi gameplay if you guys don't really know what League of Legends is. So without further ado, let's get right into the game. Okay guys, we are in the match. And... We have a pretty good team. Uh, I got Master Yi, as you can see. We have some pretty good teammates, apparently, because they all like typed in chat and everything. So let's hope we let's hope this is a good game. I don't think the enemy team is going to be that good either. But regardless, I go bot bottom, and we have Ash following me, which is the support. And I'm actually pretty happy that we have her because then once I get fed. And if you don't know what fed means, it basically means um, you get all the kills, so you can like buy the best stuff, so you get a, like an edge. And uh, I've been getting fed uh, the past few games, and I've been dropping like 30 kills and stuff. So hopefully that happens again. But we have three bottom. Uh, I'm gonna ask this guy to go top. Uh, 30 seconds until minions spawn. Oh, I, okay, I guess this guy, hopefully he says something, because I did call bottom in the beginning of the match. Now let's see if we can save this guy. I'm not. Bam. Alright, that's perfect. Now we're gonna, we're gonna recall real quick. Actually, no we're not. But that's perfect, that's basically me getting fed. Um, as you can see, I have flash on which sort of like teleports you it's sort of like a uh, evade or uh, or dodge if you play advanced warfare Doubt is the greatest but uh yeah this guy is not listening to our teammates but it's all good though either way looks like we're gonna have a good match uh hopefully these guys can slay dragon early on but we're just gonna be Getting all these kills. With Master E. Um, pretty much, uh, you just try to get your minions to attack the towers just so you can push up. And uh, if the if you if you t if you attack a champion that's close to the tower, even though you have minions on it, the tower will automatically like shoot at you. But, uh, let's see if we can help out Ash here. But, if it's the other way around and it's just minions, then the tower will just shoot at the minions. And that's pretty much how you, uh, clear out turrets. As you can see, I just got shot there. Uh, Master Yi is one of my favorite characters. A lot of people says he's the easiest, uh, champion to use, but, um, he did take a while to learn from me. And I really do like him. I memorized my build. Um, early on, and if you don't know what a build is, basically, uh, it's sort of like a set of items that your character buys. Um, so for example, you'll, you'll see what I do. First of all, I had to get my Dorian's Blade, which is pretty much a staple for a lot of the builds. But, uh, that's what I get early on for Master Yi, for my build. And then I'm gonna recall back, and then I'm gonna get some Boots of Speed for my movement. And then after I get the boots of speed, after I get 800 coins, I'm going to get a Vampiric Scepter, which gives me plus 10 damage and um, life steal, which pretty much means every single time I hit someone, um, I get some... This guy needs some help. But uh, pretty much I just get, like, health back after I hit someone. My bad. I, I, uh, I'm not really good at doing live comps. <laughs> But either way, uh, the reason why I'm doing this gameplay is because I want people to, like, see what it's like to play a champion um, without any, like, editing and stuff. Because I used to be, like, well, like, I wanted to play Teemo early on, and I wanted to, like, see how he plays and, like, what his voice and stuff was. Because I think the big thing about League of Legends is, like, the characters have, like, voices and stuff. Well, at least for me, I, I like, like, getting to know my character. So a lot of the videos out there like didn't have any voices. So here's some like gameplay of Master Yi and like how he talks and stuff. 
he's really cool. Uh, he needs a lot of armor and stuff. But either way, I'm gonna see if we can take this tower. Nobody's going bottom for some reason. I think it's because they're just scared. I guess I have no idea. Uh, Master Yu's abilities are Q is Alpha Strike, and he uh, he attacks four enemies at once. Uh, w is Meditate, and he just like gets health and stuff for uh, for a while. And then E is Wuju style, which is like a damage boost for six seconds. And then uh, R is Highlander, which is like double the attack speed and stuff. But I don't know why this guy is falling back when you should be taking this tower. But regardless, I'm not mad. Um, when I get to level six, then I can start doing stuff. Hit E, and we're gonna use a combo. Combos in this game, on like terms of abilities, are like really good because you can just like, for example, one of my uh, build items are uh, the the ghost blade or whatever, and that gives you like plus something damage. So if I use that, like, which is like the the hot key for it is five to use that ability. So the hotkey is 5, so if I do 5R to activate my Highlander, uh, it's a pretty good combo, and it pretty much guarantees a kill if someone's weak, which I like, unless they use uh, their flash to get away from me. But this teammate does not look like they have, like the enemy team does not look like they have any idea what they're doing, because I shouldn't be like this, like, alone when it comes to bot. Like... It's okay, like, on terms of, like, teammates and stuff, but, uh, for the enemy team to not send anybody bottom is a little weird. As you can see, I'm gonna recall in a bit. Oh god. I'm gonna recall in a bit just so I could, uh, get my Vampiric Scepter, as I said I was gonna get it early on. Hopefully you guys enjoy the 60fps gameplay that I'm recording right now. Uh, League of Legends can't handle 60fps. Um, as I said a while back, uh, some of the games that I play with the Alan Rafa, uh, the CPU can't really take recording in 60 FPS and playing that game in 60 FPS. But considering I get like 200 frames in League of Legends when I'm not recording, like right now I'm getting 146 while recording. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I am recording one sec. Which I am. I am recording. But, uh... Some of the some of the games just like you can't record in 60 FPS and get 60 FPS gameplay, which I, as I said before, I'm a really big 60 FPS guy. Um, this is all on high settings too, so it's not like I have to cut corners. But here's my Vampiric Scepter; it just gets life steal. Uh, next level, at level six, you get your uh, R move, which is Highlander for me. But uh. I'm going to use E to upgrade my damage real quick while we try to take out this turn. We are going to take out the turn soon. Later on, when I upgrade uh, enough, I'm going to start roaming around with E so I can keep feeding. But right now, this is doing pretty good for me, as you can see. Like, since nobody's bottom, I can pretty much easily, like, just crush anybody. Uh, which is bottom right now. Because every I have no idea what their teammates are doing. I'm going to ask them, has anyone left on your team because I don't know why they're not sending anybody bottom that would be really weird for me if my team didn't have anybody bottom but uh regardless I'm gonna face I, I just been playing a bunch of this game uh, and CSGO which I like a lot but I might do a, an inventory setup for, for uh, CSGO just to see what I have because at first, my whole idea was to get everything stat track, which I did. I did get everything stat track except for a knife, um, and I had some pretty good weapons. But now I want to get like everything pink and everything red. So I pretty much have everything you can get pink and red, uh, except for a knife, of course. Um, but as you guys know, if you play CS:GO, the Chroma 2 case just came out, and that has like some uh, pink and red skins that I that I want, like the giz the Galil. Eco, which is the only Galil pink skin so far. I want that. And uh, the reason why I'm not getting a Chatterbox is because it's still expensive. And the MAC-10 um, Neon Rider, which is a red skin, um, is also pretty cheap for the price. 
but me and this Azure guy, I have no idea what he's doing, but we're gonna see if we can take out this turn. We should be able to. But uh our next thing that we have to get is the brutalizer, which is one three three seven points. Which I actually like. Um I like the creativity in that. Um but we're gonna try to take out these two minions. And then just so we can get the one three three seven points. And we're just gonna recall, which is B. Recall is about like five seconds, I believe, and it just teleports you back to your base if you're pretty new to League of Legends. Um so as we did that, we're going to upgrade to the Brutalizer, and then after that we need the Yomu's Ghost Blade, which is what I said before with uh, the upgrade. We, Once I get the Ghost Blade, actually I might go mid and help out my teammate. I might take her out, uh, but I gotta get down here mid first, and I'll show you guys basically how powerful he can be. Once he's fed, and finally they have Annie going down, uh, going down bottom, like she was doing originally when we uh, slayed her. But as you can see, I'm basically just going to go in now, and oh god, please, oh god, oh god, please don't kill me. Okay, well that did not go as expected as it would. Um, as I said, I don't really have my ghost blade yet, so. It is pretty hard to kill people with a single R, and considering uh, Sylvania, or whatever her name is, did uh, dash away, um, and she had a shield. Um, that does explain a little bit why I did not get that kill, but we are going to go bottom because I don't think this guy's good enough to uh, hold off on his own, because I don't even think he's paying attention to uh, Annie, which is in the bush right here. Hopefully he is, but I don't think he is at all. But I'm going to flank around here because I really want to get behind Danny so I can end up uh, attacking her from behind in a non-pedophilic way. But I'm going to wait for her to just, for a bear to just die real quick. And I'm going to run behind her, hit F. Easy. Uh, Annie's like special ability is uh, to pretty much like stun after like four hits. So that was an issue. Right there, I should have killed Annie a little bit faster if it wasn't for that. But we do need 1,360, I believe, or something like that to get the Ghost Blade. And. Then we're pretty much golden, and then we can stop going bottom and start going mainly for kills. Um, I might help this guy out mid. Because... We're gonna wait 10 seconds. This guy is doing work. <laughs> uh... But anyway, this game is just really fun once you get used to it. A lot of my friends who started playing this game didn't really like it because once you once you first started playing it, it's not really fun to play because you just get, like, destroyed. But uh, later on, it starts to get really fun once you start to learn how to play the game. Um, I don't think anybody is fed on their team. Hopefully, I'm going to ask this guy, can you get to them weak? so I can pretty much use my R and zoom in. Because that's pretty much what Ziggy does, he's an assassin. Uh, so pretty much he can just come behind people. Like this. Okay, well she's going to use her heal, so she doesn't die. Which is a little disappointing, but it's all good. Uh, We're going to go around, and we might go top. That's what we might do, because... We're not close enough to be able to get ooh. Oh my god, no, please god. I don't think this Shyvania is really good. But regardless, we might sneak around here and try to get Flora. Because 
She's not really doing anything good. Obviously, she has something with the uh, life steal, as you can see. But we are gonna go around real quick and do something like this. And this is what Master is good for. He's just good for uh, sneaking up behind dudes. And since I don't have my R, is a little bit hard for me to. Uh... Oh God. And I, I can't. Uh, it's all good though. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention, uh, but it's 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 okay. Um, as I said, once I get my ghost blade, then I can start uh, really hunting people. Uh, but right now, I'm just trying to like see if I can get a kill. And if I can't, it's all good though. Uh, once once the game starts getting into the 20 minute mark, because games on League of Legends last around 20 30 minutes. Once the uh, game starts getting around the 20 minute mark, then uh, Master Yi starts to really shine. If that makes any sense. But we are going to try to help this guy out again. Because. Obviously he's not that good. But Mr. Mundo is going to. Teleport in and try to take out Annie. But he doesn't look like he's. What well, is he doing good? He's doing pretty good. Um, and you just picked up that kill. So. I might ask them to slay the dragon with me. Because once you slay the dragon you get an attack boost. Which is pretty cool. And then after you get like a tower attack boost. So dragons are just really cool. And you, in, in the start you usually need more teammates to help out. Uh, like Mr. Mundo's pretty much coming in saying he's going to help out. Uh, as you can see we're doing pretty good. Taking out this dragon. And our other teammates going to come in and help out. Just because taking out the dragon in the beginning is really a team thing, just so you can get that attack boost, as you can see. Um, but I am going to get enough money to get my Ghost Blade, which is pretty exciting now, because we get to uh, start to tear things up. And as you can see, Top isn't doing that well, so I guess I can buy this. And then next I have to get my Greaves, which uh, it, at it increases attack speed. But uh, right now, I think we sh really should be uh, helping out. Me and Mundo are going to come in like this. And I'm just going to sweep in and take all these minions out. Our team isn't that bad. But... You know... Yep, that's, that's the cool thing about uh, dash or flash, is you can just teleport to enemies pretty much um, if you had to get to them. And then you can easily take them out. Our team is pretty much like a, a roaming team, I guess. In the beginning we, we had like set positions, but now everybody, uh, want, at the towards the end of the game, people start doing things on their own and trying to help each other team, like just push as a team. Uh, hopefully Ash comes over and helps me out. And I'm going to be falling back here. But, uh... We might start to go... We're going to go bottom and help this guy out. This guy is not good. This Azer kid. Uh, I mean, obviously, he's not dead. But, I mean, he's just been not... He's been not a good teammate. He hasn't been a good teammate. Um, but, anyway... Let's see if... We can fall back and do this. And take out all these turns. Or these minions. My bad. But later on in the game when we start to really push out. Uh, and that's going to be the fun part. But pretty much I just upgrade my Alpha Strike and my Wuju style abilities. Just so I can uh, do the most damage when I activate my R. And then once every six levels I believe you get to upgrade your R. Um. But right now we're going to upgrade the attack speed of the Berserker's Greaves, which is pretty much like a must-have for a lot of builds. Um, so, we're going to see if... I'm going to tell our teammates to pretty much target this chick. She's going to get destroyed, hopefully. I don't think she did at all. But, it's all good. Uh, we're basically just going to be pushing up here. 
Oh god, here we go. Come on, 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 come on. And of course, dude, I forgot to press my R. Oh my god. That's a that's a really big problem for me. I, I keep forgetting to press my R. Like, I told myself in my head, I was like, Harmony, you gotta press your R. And then, I, I, I think I accidentally pressed 4, maybe. Or maybe T, or something. But I forgot to press R. And if I pressed R, um, maybe. I'm not really good at ambushing. But Flora is another assassin, so. She's, a. Uh, She's, like, a, a big part. She's pretty much, like, another Master Yi, I guess. But I, I don't use her, because I, really, I don't like her that much. But, anyway. Uh, the game's pretty slow right now. But, sooner or later, you'll start to see me, uh, a Master Yi, uh, do some good stuff. Mr. Mundo's just teleporting. That's one of the abilities that you can have, one of the two abilities. Um, and he's legendary. But hopefully, she stops doing whatever she's doing, because this chick keeps being a dickhead to me. And we're gonna see if we can take her out. Please, please, can we, 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 please? Worth, worth, worth. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Never mind! Damn it! That always happens to me, dude. That, that, that... That gets me a little perturbed, as you can see, when people boost away and then they got, I don't know. This is my first game of the day. It is a cool 6 a.m., so I don't, maybe that's why. But this is just a gameplay video, and I, I have been on a, a huge win streak, and our teammates are doing pretty well. Uh, Mr. Mundo's doing pretty good, and yeah, I guess. I really It really does get me mad when... uh enemy teammates like do the right thing if that makes any sense and they like fall back and stuff but either way flora looks fed to the point of no return as you can see she's just tearing things up and i'm gonna destroy her i don't know what i'm gonna do but usually once i know i'm gonna get into a battle i'm just like i'm i tell myself like for example i'm like 5 r e q um, just so I can be like 5 REQ on my keyboard, pretty much. Uh, we're gonna flank around and get her, because she's getting really cocky. I'm gonna wait for her to like, wait for a dragon to run out, because that's sort of her like, Q move. And now she is, so we're gonna hit 5 R E Q. We're gonna just attack her to the point of no return. And of course she's gonna use her heal. And she's gonna get away, man. No way. She's literally just been dodging the entire time. Damn it. But it's all good though because we're gonna be chased by Annie. Um which I really hope does not end up being a death for us. We're gonna try to like Mr. Mundo's trying to help us out here. Um, so we're gonna try to ambush so she sorta so this happens like that that's exactly how you play master Yi, and that's a really good sign of teamwork in this game but we are going to try to get over here and help this guy out and we're going to get a cool double kill oh i know that's not a double kill i guess but we are going to do that which is pretty cool next thing in our build is the blade of the ruin king which is a pretty good item. It's in a lot of builds as well. But uh, either way, we're going to see if we can help out bottom. Because this guy is not doing as good as we want him to do. But uh, Tina, I forgot what the name of her champion is. Uh, it is Anavia. She's going to be helping out and being a good teammate. She's going to be dominating. I really want to kill her because she's really pissing me off because she she plays mid pretty well, I guess, like in terms of falling back. Uh, I'm going to say Tina, Dragon, uh, just so we can take out the Dragon so we can start getting uh, the buffs. Of, like the second buff is basically plus 15 attack damage, which we are going to do. Me and, her, me and her have been like pretty good on terms of like 
teamwork and stuff. So we are going to take out the dragon. And uh, get that tower destruction buff. And I want to go take out Annie. Because we can do that. And I'm basically going to be hiding here for a bit. Tina's just going to be coming out. And I'm going to be R-E-Q. And Annie's, Annie's R is to basically summon her, like, bear thing. Her teddy bear, which turns into, like, a big monster bear. But as soon as you kill her, the bear just sort of dies out. And in my opinion, it's not really good. But if you play Annie well, I guess you have a different opinion. Um, considering the only two champions I've really played as is uh, Garen, Ash, and Master Yi. Master Yi, obviously, I played the most of, and I'm really comfortable with him. I even got him a skin. This, uh, it didn't really cost me any money because you start out with 400 points that you used to buy skins with. But she's fed to the max, as you can see. Uh, and this game really gets fun later on. Uh, I really do think we're going to win because Flora's the only good person on their team. And even though she's fed, she can't really carry the team. Because, as you can see, our team's just going to be cornering bottom. Jesus, dude. But, uh... Maybe if I get down there far enough, because I think she's it's, she's doing what she's been doing to me. She's just been running away. And uh, we're going to be able to uh, come down here, I believe. And 5-R-E-Q. Oh god, we're going to be going back here. Sweet. Okay, she's godlike. Now that we have enough money, we can get our Blade of the Ruined King. And this is when League of Legends matches start to get really heated. Um... They're pushing our turret, so we need to get over here and get the Blade of the Ruined King. Because we need to hurry up here. Because we cannot let them destroy our inhibitor. Master Yi is doing what he's doing best. Oh god, I gotta run away. God! Fuck me, man. <laughs> I hate when that happens. But anyway, when people start to get fed, things uh, don't seem to be that good. But either way, we just can't let them destroy our inhibitor, because pretty much what an inhibitor does is, if you destroy it, uh, enemy super minions spawn, and they're like four times as good as like the regular minions, so top starts to like not turn out really good. But it's all good. We're 7 and 4. That's a, pr that's a pretty decent KD, with two assists. So anyway, next all we have to do is get the uh, the Phantom Dancer, which is this. And once we get that, our uh, attack moves start to really, like, shine. And that's sort of when Master Yi becomes OP. But either way, this uh, Tina is doing really good. She's 8-0. I think my highest is 17-0, and that was, like, two games ago when I was recording yesterday. Which is pretty pretty good for me. I'm not... As I said, I'm not really good at League of Legends yet. I can't really do amazing every match, but I'm getting to the point where I can do a somewhat decent. Master Yi's uh, Q ability starts to be really... It starts to become really good against minions. Because then you can start to just Q and take out four minions at once. So we can pretty much do that. And now we can upgrade our Woot, or uh, Meditate. And now we can just take out those four minions. And basically give our minions a foothold. So they can start attacking that turret. Uh, but here. Now that we have tower destruction from that dragon, we can start to easily just destroy this turret. It it's cause it's a plus fifteen percent uh like buff against that, so that's really good to do later on. And uh, since our teammates are doing really good, we're not gonna be able to finish our build. Uh, so we're gonna win the game faster, which is good. Uh, we're gonna see if we can manage to take out this turn, which I think we will be able to do, um, as you can see right here. We're going to use our E, and we are going to be able to take out this turn, and then we're going to Q and take all these minions. And then we're going to get this uh, inhibitor right here, so enemy super minions starts running. And this game should be done uh, pretty soon, but anyway, Master Yi is a really good uh, champion. If you want to try him out, you can just buy him. He's pretty cheap for me. He was cheap for me. I, I, I have no idea. Anyway, we're going to come over here and take out Flora. 5RQ. Actually, we're going to take out her. 
because finally I want her. Which we are gonna do. We're gonna run away now. Oh my god. We're gonna run away. Hopefully we get a teammate that comes to help out, I guess. Never mind, we are not gonna get that help that we need. But hopefully we can get Master Yi to sort of sit back and relax. We're gonna use our meditate ability. As you can see. He just his he reheals pretty quick once you get that ability. And we're gonna wait a little bit just so we can um start to attack Flora. And maybe we'll help Mr. Mundo out and attack uh whatever her name is. I, I don't even know who she is. But we're gonna see if we can destroy this inhibitor real quick. Oh god. Boom. That's a good assist. Oh god. Haha, <laughs> we used our flash to get away easily. And I'm not gonna help him out, even though he's my teammate, because I really don't want to risk dying. And he was gonna die anyway, so. Either way. Hopefully he doesn't follow me into that because I'm just running away as you can see. And he might comment like, it'd be pissed off at me, but either way, what is he doing? She needs to fall back. Uh, oh my god, I wish I didn't recall because then I could have fell back. Uh, bring her to me. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. I need to get over there fast. Q, 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 Q. Let's take her out. Perfect. Oh my god, she was so fed, I can't believe I took her out. Either way, we are going to be able to get our Phantom Dancer, which will be a... We'll become master, master OP, <laughs> pretty pretty much. Uh, our teammate is congratulating us. We are gonna get the uh, Phantom Dancer. Thanks, man. Smiley face. But uh, <laughs> either way, we are gonna take out the dragon. Uh, I will solo drag. And basically, later on in the in the game, you can start to solo drag, which pretty much means. One person of the enemy, uh, one person on your team will be able to uh, take out the dragon on their own. So, that's good. Uh, we are going to do that right now and take out this dragon on our own. As you can see, the amount of damage we managed to do. The dragon really isn't hurting us that much. And we are going to queue and be able to take that dragon out. Bam. I might use my meditate to just meditate real quick. Because I really don't want to recall. We're 9 and 4 right now. We're doing pretty good. Uh, but anyway, if you want to see more of these, just, just let me know. I have no problem like doing this. As I said before in, I think, a previous video, I'm not really good at live commentaries. Now I'm on a killing spree. Oh god. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh please god. Uh, that Highlander really helps us out on terms of speed so we can get away. But we're gonna run away real quick. And use our recall. Just so we can get away. Jesus, this game starts to get intense. But we have a pretty good team. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next, all we need to do is get the uh, the Infinity Edge. Which is good. Um, it's actually one of the best items in the game, but it's 3,000 coins. So, if the game reaches the 40 minute mark, maybe we can get it. And I have gotten to the point where I can... Uh, where I can build my entire build. And I, I, I literally got like 30 kills, so that just proves to show. But anyway, we are going to probably end this match right now. I have no idea. It depends. We're going to sneak over here and take her out because she obviously doesn't care what she's doing. I honestly think the game's going to be done in a second, but we are going to take her out. So we're going to 5R, E, Q, 
and then we're gonna hit her with the uh bam we're on a rampage basically as i said before it's just combos and that's pretty much just how you play mastery so just 5r eq everything and we're just look how like fast our attack speed is um and that's really cool we're basically gonna be destroying this inhibitor real quick though Is me and Mr. Mundo here are doing pretty good. I don't really know what we should do because she's attacking us. I don't even know. Jesus, I'm running away. I'm getting out of here, dude. No way. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. But we're gonna go back in this bush so I can use my meditate. I'm gonna taunt real quick. I think this guy's pissed off at me. <laughs> I think that guy's legitimately pissed off at me. I have no idea. I'm gonna see if we can take her out. Oh my god. Did she manage to get away? Oh, she did. I would have killed her too. That's disappointing, but it's all good. We might have to run away here. But we might we're gonna try to take out this inhibitor real quick. As you can see. Uh one sec, I'm gonna recall. <sighs> this is an <laughs> this is an intense match, and hopefully you guys are enjoying uh me playing League of Legends. But uh anyway, I have a cool uh I might do an alien war alpha test on uh what's that game called? I have no idea. I have no idea what game I should do an alien war alpha test on because I've pretty much done an alien war alpha test for almost all the games I have. So maybe like a, a crisis two alien war alpha test. I have no idea. But as I said, this is up the, my channel is going to come to a point in time where I can't do any more alpha tests anymore. For example, maybe when I get a new PC. Because probably in a year or two I might get a, uh, a, a I might build my PC. Which I, I already have the plans laid out for it, like the parts I want to get. But the Elmer Alpha is doing me pretty good right now, so I don't really feel like I need to build a new PC. But when that comes, I basically want to make my YouTube channel something that people enjoy. And uh, maybe gameplays like this will help that out. But, uh, we're gonna take out this real quick, like this. We're gonna maybe get a double kill, I have no idea. Yes, we are gonna get a double kill. We're gonna go for the, uh, triple kill, maybe, hopefully. That would be really cool if we did get the double kill. Oh god, no we're not, no we're not, no we're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not getting the, uh, we're not getting the double kill. Or the triple kill, my bad. Uh, we are gonna upgrade our, our, all the way though, which is pretty good. And just because I don't think the game's gonna last that long, uh, I might get a, uh, a BF sword, or whatever that is. It's a, uh, plus 50 attack damage. So I am gonna get that. Oh, they surrendered, I think. Oh. Oh, we won. Boom, bam, bop, bada, bop, bop. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching the video. This is just some League of Legends gameplay. Once again, in the comments, let me know if you wanna see more of this gameplay. Uh, here, one second, let me just turn this into full screen. Uh, here you go, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I went 14 and 4. Um, I did pretty good. I think I was, well, excluding Flora, I was the best in the match. Best on my team. Basically, we're just going to give the enemy team a good GG. And, uh, yeah, once again, let me know if you want to see more League of Legends games uh, in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Harmony, and this is my own.